Good morning. We're walking down to Fairy Glen, aren't we, Matthew? Yeah. And we are in Snowdonia. And it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, flat light again, but it doesn't matter when we come in here. And uh, Matt is more interested in the horsey things. Now, Riverside Walk, that's where we're going to go. And uh, the mist is clinging onto the trees, so I'm hoping that we get something pretty special here today. But if we don't, we don't. Oh, I don't know if it's a goat or a sheep. Maybe somebody else can tell us. Are they goats or sheep? I don't know. So a uh, question that was asked by, I think it was Dave Pierce, was do you prefer shooting uh, landscapes um, or seascapes? Uh, I don't mind shooting anything. I do love a good seascape. But what I do like shooting more than anything is things with water in them. Anything, whether it's a lock or a lake or a river. Uh, that's my uh, passion, to be honest. Absolutely beautiful. River's running slowly. Spoiled for choice, really. We're going to keep walking along the river bank and see if we can find this here fairy glen. So we're at the fairy glen and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to come back here again. See, so you'll most probably see me shoot here again, but I couldn't resist uh, just getting a shot whilst uh, on a recce with uh, my son. Just going to tilt the camera around and so I can show you what it looks like around here in that direction. But the shoot that we're shooting is in this direction here. Uh, now, if we could get some sun into the equation, it would be absolutely stunning. And most of the best shots are uh, with sun shining. But we've got a wee bit of mist, a wee bit of haze. And uh, the um, shot looks really, really nice. Uh, what I've done is I've put uh, the polarizer on the front because I actually want to darken the water off. Uh, I want it more black to give some contrast uh, to the uh, greens in the uh, background. Uh, and I've put a three stop on because we've got quite a bit of uh, froth or foam coming through the water. And if we make that still, it's not going to look quite as nice as if we've got a nice uh, a running uh, streaking uh, effect going on without foam. So polarizer on three stop on the front if you wanted and you didn't have a three stop all you would do is because I'm shooting at f9 here all you would do is uh, shoot at f16 um, and uh, that would give you a slightly longer exposure uh, of maybe two to three seconds at f16 I've closed the camera viewfinder because I don't want any light getting in the back and we set off at f9 I've actually got my uh, tilt shift lens on uh, which enables me to get everything sharp front to back uh, easily without focus stacking but there's not anything in my immediate foreground to really worry about anyway so I'll be absolutely fine using my 16-35 uh, to 35 lens or my 24-70 to 70 lens I've got a 24mm uh, prime lens on at the moment okay being a good boy I've put the cable release on so with these shots you've got choices you know uh, what I'm going for today is a bright um, sky uh, with bright foliage with a bright moss and a dark bottom so I could have put an ND grad on the actual um, front of the camera 0.9 ND grad and really taken that sky out but I want that contrast it may or may not work we'll see all right oh yeah you've just got to be careful here I've come in short um, shorts today so no hat but you get to see my legs uh, but there are leeches, so if you're squeamish and you don't want any blood sucked out of you, just be careful. <laughs>
so I'm recording this on my iPhone there's a reason just didn't a piece to camera I'm telling you that I lost my glasses disaster disaster obviously I use a gimbal and I not tightened it up properly and laughing about my glasses okay three quid my GoPro went into the water luckily I've got it back I'll show you it's here um, and the mic soaked and the GoPro soaked keeping my fingers crossed that uh, get it home in the closet with some rice it'll dry out it's making some strange noises within the water it's 50 50 chances are it's gone to the gods of electronic devices that fall in water and if it has you go for it.